All right, we've got the poster child of muscle cars, a 1970 Chevelle, the SS454 red with the black stripes and that cow induction hood. This one's been body off frame restored. Every component's replaced or rebuilt as a 454, vintage air conditioning, a four speed upgraded suspension, gauges. It's got a lot going on and it's in fantastic condition. Less than 600 miles actually since the restoration's been done. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can take your time and look at over 100 pictures top to bottom, read the information about the car, and that's also where you will find a price tag along with a monthly finance option on every car that we offer for sale. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be notified when the next one's posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Body was lifted off the frame. Every component on the frame and chassis, uh, actually everything on the bottom of the car was removed, and it was all put together with new stuff. The front end steering and suspension is all brand new. Matter of fact, they made some nice upgrades. It has some fat tubular control arms. Uh, it has BMR lowering springs, front and back, as Coney shocks all the way around. They use polyurethane bushings throughout. Uh, the rear suspension has custom upper and lower control arms, and it has a sway bar. It has a new factory type dual exhaust with the mufflers and the resonators in the back and the cowbell exhaust tips. You can guess why they call them cowbells. They look just like them. Uh, the brake system, completely new, has disc in front, drum in back, the lines, the hoses, the e-brake cables, all been replaced. The fuel system's all new. The tank, the straps, the fuel lines, the sending unit. You look up at the motor, nice clean motor, Chevy orange, starter looks fresh. That's an M22 rock crusher transmission. That's the heavy duty Muncie four speed. That's all been rebuilt and the clutch was replaced. Has a new drive shaft going back to a 12 bolt rear end with 331 posi gears. So everything under this car is rebuilt. The floors are super dry, clean, beautiful metal. The, the floors, the braces, the rockers, all nice and clean, all painted underneath the car. Uh, looks fantastic. Now let's check out the body. First of all, it has an actual cowl induction hood. <clears throat> A lot of people throw the emblem on there, but that's the cow induction, and it's actually hooked up and working. We'll demonstrate that a little later. But the hood is straight. This is all straight. The fender's straight. Lines up real nice. Sits up a little high right here, just a touch. Door lines up clean all the way down to the bottom. All the way along the rocker is clean. All real nice. Nice, straight, I'm not seeing any issues. This is all real nice, straight, clean, beautiful, real nice. I can't see it here, but I've seen it. Here it is, there's one little bubble right there on the corner of the trunk lid. This is all clean and straight, real nice. The body lines are nice. It's all lines up square, clean rockers. Door shuts real nice, no rattle, all clean, clean metal. So the body is in excellent shape. There's like a little dent right here and two tiny little cracks. I think something dropped on there at one time. Uh, repainted a nice bright red, is sanded and polished and buffed real smooth and glossy. There is a touch up on the edge right here. At one time the hood maybe came up and hit the fender and uh, they did a really good job of touching it up. If I wasn't specifically looking for it, I wouldn't have seen it. And a couple dimples, not bubbles, but dimples in the paint, uh, just a few of them in that area there. The rest of this is pretty much polished like glass. I didn't see any cracking or any other chips or issues. Looks like they replaced all the trim, the emblems, the SS454, all the stainless trim. This is all shiny and straight, even the little chrome corners, handles, wheel well moldings, 
all been replaced. The stripes are painted on, smooth to the touch. They look like they're the correct 70 uh, style stripes, rounded here, pointed in the middle. The whole rear bumper, the pad, tail lights, it's all been redone. It has a Hearst equipped emblem on there. It's like a vintage style emblem. Vinyl top is replaced. Rear windows new. Pretty certain all the glass is new. All the window seals, the rubber seals around the glass is all replaced. All the weather strips, the mirrors, the windshields new. So the wheels, that's a modern take on the rally wheels. They're 19s in front, 20s in back, so they're a staggered size. Extra wide in back as well. And this is still a, a, like a stainless polished derby cap in the middle. And they're wrapped in uh, Firestone Fire, I think it says Firehawk, yeah, Firehawk Indy 500 performance tires. Now in 1970, if you got the Collinduction hood, you also got the racing pins. Kept the hood from flying open when you're doing 100 miles an hour. Uh, and all the trim up here, the grill, all this is replaced. Here's a little plug-in for a battery tender. It's hooked up right to the battery. So there you have the outside. Let's open it up, see if it's just as good inside. All right, let's see what the trunk looks like. Well, underside of the trunk lid is just about as glossy as the top side. You got the stickers here. That's the Posi sticker. Uh, stripes are brought right into the jam. The jam's painted real slick. The weather strip is new. The trunk compartment, all solid metal with a nice, neat spatter finish paint. As the mat and the matching tire cover. Uh, there's a spare. Not quite sure if there's a jack. I don't see one sticking out, so probably does not have the jack. Not that you'd ever change a tire with one of these old bumper jacks anymore anyway. Yeah, I'm going to say the side glass might be original. It's just a few little tiny marks, but the front and back windows are new. So the door jams are painted nice and slick. The weather strips and sill plates are replaced. Door panels, armrests, window cranks, that's all new. Actually, just about everything inside the car is new, even up under the dash, the headlight dimmer, the wiring. This whole instrument panel is replaced. You can see the nice shiny chrome, factory tachometer and gauges. Note that there's 595 miles on the car. That's since it's been done. Clock is actually ticking. Updated vintage air controls. They're electric, not the old cables that are hard to push. This looks exactly like the factory AM FM stereo, but it's actually a modern uh, stereo in, in their internal uh, modern stuff. So the vents, the glove box, light works, the owner's manuals here, carpet, kick panels all replaced. Her shifter with the original style boot and bezel you got the original set of seat belts in good shape uh, deluxe wheel on a tilt column the seats are reupholstered bench seat you can sit close to your sweetie pie uh, let me get in the back seat back seats all redone the side panels are replaced uh, the foil does peel off. That's just something that happens on the reproduction panels. Uh, so it's just coming off in these back panels right in the corner there. It has this mesh speaker tray, the headliner, visors all redone, the dome light works, the mirror is new. So inside the car is practically a new 70 Chevelle. Now, the way that cow induction works, it actually stays open. As soon as you start it, it closes. When you rev the engine and it loses vacuum as you rev the engine, the uh, door opens and lets that fresh air in right into the engine. Now, we got a lot going on here. We got a 454 big block with an aluminum intake, uh, four barrel carb, obviously. It's hard to see underneath that big air cleaner. Uh, correct chrome valve covers, 
correct manifolds, has the shields around the spark plugs. Firewall looks a little different because it is a vintage heat and air system. We have the Delco battery topper, so it looks original. Uh, and these extra wires are for that battery charger. Looks like an upgraded radiator. It's got the shroud. The alternator looks new. They did use a GM compressor. We got power steering hiding in here. We got newer power brakes. We got new wiper motors. Squirters look like they're hooked up. All new wiring harness through the car. New clutch fan. All new hoses. The horns work. Under the hood's painted gloss red. So yeah, they replaced uh, just about everything in this car. The car feels nice, smooth, tight, not a lot of rattles, or not any actually that I noticed. the M22 makes a whiny sound. I did just notice above the door handle there's a tiny, small little chip that's been touched up. Uh, so there you have it. Practically a new 70 Chevelle, 600 miles since it's been completely body off frame, nut and bolt restored. It's all the stuff you want. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen will help answer your questions. They'll help get this delivered to your door. They can even help you finance it, make it real easy for you at volocars.com. If you enjoyed these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next video is posted. Thanks for watching.